Welcome to episode number 83 of the Fitlandia podcast. We are continuing our series on the Mind Zoning Academy, and I'm going to talk to you today about a New Year's resolution revival. I know you guys are going to love this show. Before I jump into it, I want to invite you to head over to fitlandiafitness.com forward slash mind dash zoning. You can go ahead, enter your name and email address, and you can get the mind zoning meditation and self-sabotage and harness your superpower. All right, now on to today's show. You're listening to the Fitlandia Podcast, and I'm Krista King, certified hypnotherapist, nutritional therapist, and your host for the show. Subscribe to the podcast today and join me each week as I bring you experts in nutrition, exercise, and mindset mastery. Together, we'll keep you educated and motivated to live the healthiest version of you. Okay, let's get started with today's show. Okay, Fitlandians, it's just me again today talking to you about the Mind Zoning Academy. So if this is your first time joining the Fitlandia podcast, a warm, warm welcome to you all. But if you're a regular, then you probably already know about the Mind Zoning Academy, which uh, Fitlandia launched in April. Super excited. Our first topic was on end self-sabotage and harness your superpower. And so I'm doing this series in the podcast to announce the upcoming first few Mind Zoning Academies that we're going to be doing, as well as tell you a little bit about the techniques that are involved in each and a little history on why we do what we do. The fact that 90% of our behavior comes from our unconscious mind. And I'm here through the power of mind zoning to help you shift those thought patterns to make getting healthier and living a healthy lifestyle faster and easier. So let's talk about what I'm going to be doing in June this year, which is a New Year's resolution revival. Okay. What is all that about? So um, if you're familiar, I'm a big fan of harnessing the power of intention around New Year's resolutions. The problem is it becomes um, a really short term goal because a lot of people are focused on let me lose 20 pounds really fast or I'm going to start exercising more. But they don't realize that there are still those unconscious thought patterns that need to shift. I also recall through all of my yo-yo dieting years, so I'm 45 right now, and I stopped my dieting cycle around the age of 41, so four years ago, but I started when I was 12 years old, and every year it was the same thing. New Year's comes, I set my New Year's resolution, I'm going to lose 20 pounds, and what happens? I'm going great for three to four months. And then whatever happens, a big stressor, a move, a job change, job elimination, (laughs) you name it, I ditch the diet and I ditch the movement and I fall back into my old patterns of relying on sugar, refined carbs and alcohol. So really, this the point of the June uh, Mind Zoning Academy is about teaching you to stay with your resolution. So I know for many of you listening, you had a goal set January 1, and here you are coming into late spring, early summer, and a lot of you, in fact, I think the percentages percentages are somewhere around 75% have not achieved their goal yet or aren't even actively working toward it. So that's what the June Mind Zoning Academy is all about reviving your New Year's resolution because what I actually want to do is teach you some of the tools that you need in order to reach and maintain your goals so that you can still get there by the end of the year. I want to give you guys listening hope. I want to give you enthusiasm and I want to reignite your resolve 
to achieve your goals in any area of life. But of course, as you all know, I mainly talk about the four cornerstones of fitness, right? Having good nutrition, daily movement, positive thinking, and community connection so you never diet again. So the first thing that you're going to learn in the Mind Zoning Academy is how to vision your future, how to actually create a visual blueprint in your mind's eye so that your body and your actions can go and execute against it. I always use the analogy that our brain is like the architect crafting the blueprint for our body to then go and execute like it's the construction team. So we're going to start in June with talking about a vision board and manifesting. Um, I want to give a a shout out to John Asaraf because I remember when I really took hold of this idea of doing a vision board, it was, oh gosh, if I had to guess now, probably a good 10 years or so ago when I was watching The Secret and I saw him talk about a vision board. So I had a vision board party. I had all my friends over. We put all these amazing things on the board to manifest them. And um, what was really cool is I actually had a few friends have some major shifts happen in their life. But there's a missing component to just doing a vision board. And that's actually getting your brain engaged to support it so that you're, you're taking action toward the things that you want. So we're going to talk about this idea of having a constant visualization, that message for your brain to be reminded, yes, this is what I want. But then we're going to back it up with some amazing mind zoning techniques to help you step into that energy of what it feels like to have already achieved your goals fully and completely. Because I got to tell you, that is one of the most powerful mind zoning techniques that I teach is stepping into that energy. And if any of you are following like the lifestyle strategists, the motivational speakers, all the gurus talk about not only manifesting and visioning your dreams, but attaching the emotion to it as if you already achieved it. And those two things in conjunction are really powerful. Now, here's the best part of it. I'm going to lead you through a guided meditation so that you can actually experience it step by step, crafting the vision, getting all of the details are aligned around it, embracing that vision, calling into action and into your mind's eye the tools and resources that you'll need to achieve it. But then I'm going to take you that next step and I'm going to have you experience while you're in a relaxed and focused state what it feels like to fully and completely achieve all of your goals. So that goal that you set back on January 1 that you wanted to execute on and I know you're listening and you found you're like, yeah, I didn't I didn't reach it. I didn't maintain it. Whatever it is, there's no shame in that because you just didn't rewire your thought patterns to get you there. And this mind zoning is going to support you in that. So what you get with the Mind Zoning Academy, again, is this first part education and how the brain works, why we're wired that we are, why we do what we do, then I'm going to lead you through the guided meditation that's going to support you in revitalizing your New Year's resolution. Then in the last part of the webinar, the workshop, I am going to leave it open for Q&A because there's nothing that I love more than to tackle obstacles. I am a personal believer that there is a solution to every problem, that every obstacle is actually a lesson and a learning to help us get to everything that we're envisioning for our life. So I want to teach you those principles. I want to guide you through that. But as a bonus, whether you come see me live in person in Portland, Oregon, or Whether you join the Zoom video conference live, not recorded, fake live, but live, live, where you get to see and talk to me, whichever you choose, you're going to get a professionally mixed mind zoning meditation session 
that you can listen to over and over and over again. And it's mixed with beautiful spa music. It's just going to be like this delicious escape that you get to enjoy whenever you're needing to reconnect with your goals. And that is the power of your mind. So what I want you to do is head over to fitlandiafitness.com forward slash mind dash zoning. You will actually be able to, by the time this is released, you'll be able to sign up for the May Mind Zoning Academy, which is Resolve Inner Conflict. But then you'll also be all set up, ready to go to sign up for the June New Year's Resolution Revival, which is perfect. We're halfway through the year. It is not too late to achieve all of your goals. And I absolutely cannot wait to see you all there. Now, when you head over to the website, you can actually go ahead as a little bonus and a little invite so you can experience mind zoning. You can put in your name and email address and you can actually get the end self sabotage mixed mind zoning recording today. So go ahead, grab your bonus from today's episode. Start to think about what you want to manifest in your life. Start daydreaming. Start putting some thought and some energy to it and come prepared in June for the New Year's resolution revival. Okay, next week, tune in because I'm going to be announcing also the July Mind Zoning Academy. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to keep doing these mind zonings with you and helping you all achieve all the health and vitality that you can imagine for yourself. I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. If this was your first time with us, be sure to head over to iTunes and give us an honest rating and review. I personally love hearing the key takeaways that you got from each episode that's going to keep you moving forward on your fitness journey. And if you're curious to know more about Fitlandia and the solutions we offer, visit fitlandiafitness.com today and sign up for our newsletter to unlock your free gift. I can't wait to welcome you to Fitlandia.